Not that my content reaches a lot of men because I have an IQ of 130, oh. but I want the men in this country to know that half the female population, we're dry. <laughs> we're probably going to stay dry. Oh. I'm dry as a desert, baby, and I don't want it to change. Yeah, we're not going to like you anymore. You understand that? Like, it doesn't matter if you if you take away abortion. Like, we'll want to have your babies even less, right? Even if you take away contraception, like... Women are really good at celibacy because you guys are actually a threat to us. So we have a lot less to gain from you. So yeah, 4B all the way. Let's make some money, I guess. That's all we can do now. The passport bros, it was actually bigger than uh, the 4B movement or is. Y'all feel this, like I y'all feel this and everything. Look at me. <sighs> Y'all feel this so bad, bro, and I don't want to hear nothing about it. I don't want to hear, hear no complaints. Oh, my God, you're crying on the internet. I, like, bro, like, you do not know how it felt to live with that man as president before, especially as a black woman. You do not know the way they treated us. You do not know. What disappoint me the most is black men. I'm not even going to talk about Latino men. I'm going to let their people deal with them. But I'm going to talk about black men and how y'all could have made such a big difference. Oh, my God. The fact that y'all are getting on the internet actually crying tears, bitching and complaining is blowing my mind. I seen somebody get on here saying, oh, we're going to be slaves again under Trump like this man hasn't already been president. Oh, we're going to be slaves again. We're going to be picking cotton. And then second of all, most of the black men <laughs> voted for Kamala. I'm actually surprised. I'm, I really am. Isn't it quite hilarious how they're getting on the internet and their first thought of Kamala losing was a black man? They sit here and blame the black man for the reason why they I look at the election like... Adam just snatched the apple from Eve's hand and said, no, you're not going to eat this fruit. We're not eating this. Adam just snatched the apple. <laughs> and y'all only cared about abortion. Oh, Trump's, he's trying to tell me what to do with my body. He's trying to control my body. Well, you shouldn't be out here having unprotected sex with a man you don't want to have a child with, first off. And some of y'all are just mad because y'all are in states, mind you. Some states are still allowing abortions to happen. But some of y'all are just mad because y'all can't abuse abortions. Some of y'all be getting two to three abortions a year by multiple men. Like, come on. And then Kamala's whole campaign was having our black women sit on stage, perform provocative songs, and shake the stage. Why would I vote for that? Yeah, Adam just snatched the fuck. Thank you. Have they even looked at the statistics? Because they are actually white women that voted for Donald Trump. Majority of the white women voted for Donald Trump. So have they looked at that? Are those not women? Or those women maybe, uh, they want their rights taken away. If they put it like that. It, it doesn't make sense to some extent if you look at it. <laughs> Still hard to believe this wasn't a winning strategy. So one thing that I don't understand about women is why do y'all keep fighting so hard to be equal to men? Like y'all wondering why men don't want us to run the country and it's because y'all logic make absolutely no sense. Y'all want to be equal to a man so bad, but we got a whole era dedicated to i want to live a soft life i want a man to take care of me like if you want a dude to take care of you living off a dude is equivalent to living with your mama so you can't be sitting over here expecting somebody else to take care of your whole life but you don't want to submit but you don't want to do what they say y'all want to be liberated oh i want to be liberated i want to be able to do what i want to do with my buddy and then when you have a whole bunch of kids and nobody's helping you and you crying now you looking stupid. Nobody's signing up to take care of you and six or three or four kids. Y'all sound dumb. Y'all be wondering why they don't want us to run the country and this is why. Y'all logic make no sense at all. I want to be equal when it's beneficial. Don't nobody care about no man. Men have a hard life. Your life could be easy as a woman if you know how to play your role. Y'all make your life hard trying to be liberated and have all these babies and doing all this stuff y'all do. Now that Trump is president, can somebody please educate me on why they think that us women are losing rights? Because all I see is people posting, like, you're going to lose your rights, this, that. But nobody is saying why. They're just saying that we will. And but, rights are they losing? But 
no evidence behind it and I want to educate myself I'm open-minded and everything I'm just confused because I genuinely have tried to do research and I can't find anything and I don't want Trump supporters coming on here I literally want people who genuinely believe this and have their reasonings to come on here I don't like I, I just want educated. There is a massive war on women raging across America right now, but probably not in the way you think. We've all seen the complete meltdown of modern feminists in the last 48 hours about how all women's rights have now supposedly been taken away in America and how all women will literally die if they happen to become pregnant under a Donald Trump presidency. None of which is true, obviously, but there is a real war against women this week and it's a war of information the number of times i have seen posts like this one come across my social media is astounding to me because the treatment for an ectopic pregnancy is not an abortion the treatment for sepsis in your uterus is not an abortion the treatment for a miscarriage is not an abortion every single state in america with restrictions on abortion under law specifically legally mandates that treatment must be provided for ectopic pregnancies for miscarriage or sepsis or anything else electively choosing to end the life of your child is not life-saving health care for women in which they would otherwise die women are being victimized this week in America but they're being victimized because they're being strategically lied to by the gazillion dollar abortion industry and powerful politicians influencers and celebrities that just think we're that stupid rest assured you are not going to die in a Trump America America. Guys, your comments on this video clip with, on what she's touched here and what she said. And if there are also women that are watching, I know majority of the viewers on the channel are men. In the, but like if there are women that are seeing this video, well, let me know your take on that. And how are you feeling? Now, some women are so wound up about the results of Tuesday's election that they say they're swearing off men for good. Stop dating men. Stop having sex with men. Stop talking to men. Divorce your husbands. Leave your f***ing boyfriends. I really want to get behind this 4B movement. If you no dating men, no getting married, no having kids, and no having S-word. I'm actually yet to see maybe some younger women say that because all these women who are saying all these things are women who've hit the wall. So I'm not... I'm trying to understand why they are saying what they are saying or why they want the 4B movement to be in effect. These are women that have benefited from men. These are women that have benefited dating men. Now that they've hit the wall, men are no longer taking them seriously. Men are no longer trying to commit to them. Men are no longer trying to wife them because they've hit the wall. And now they are spreading this information so that the younger ladies there that are still interested in men, that are interested in becoming wives, that are interested in, uh, in the union of men and uh, women, they are, they are not saying this. They are not talking about 4B movement. I don't know if you guys have observed this. It's just the older women that are saying this. Remember, guys, it's the single, lonely, miserable women that want to keep other women single. It's the divorced women that want to tell married women that um, they are not happy. They are unhappy. They should divorce their husband. was cutting her hair off oh bold now google searches for the 4b movement which originated in south korea have spiked since trump won the election it advocates no sex dating or marriage with men and no children in other words it just changed the dating pool for the trump bros joining me now brianna lyman correspondent for the federalist and aldo budazoni prager you uh, personality aldo um are you heartbroken now that you don't have a chance with all these angry, vituperative liberal women. Their terms are acceptable. Where do I sign? Where's the pen and paper? You know, the ironic thing about this is they think they're punishing Trump supporters and conservatives in this, but in reality, we're the ones that have been suggesting this and saying that if you don't want an unwanted pregnancy, simply don't have sex with yeah. men. You're unwilling to have a child with the men. This will impact are the low T 
beta soy boy liberal men who only want to use women for consequence free sex. And so I think these women are doing a great job. I salute them. I want them to stand up for themselves. And I, they have my complete endorsement. As for me, I'm going to stick to dating conservative women because they already have these values. They seem a lot happier than these liberal women. And quite frankly, they're a lot more attractive.